Hi everybody, this is Kannan from Model Exam. Another one new Blossom Day today. You see here, today we are going to see about the integral calculus that is integration. The integration is the reverse process of differentiation. You see the diagram, integration f of x and differentiation f of x. We know that d of x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 into x power n by n plus 1 or d of x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 dx is equal to x power n. So, the integration is the inverse operation of differentiation and is denoted by the symbol elongated s. The s means uh, here summation, summation means total. So, the differentiation is a reverse process of summation. So, the symbol here you can see here the symbol elongated s is the symbol for integral calculus. Hence, from equation 1 it follows that integral of x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 that is integral of x power n with respect to variable is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by x plus 1. Thus, if you differentiate x power n plus 1 by n plus 1, we get back the same value x power n, the reverse process of differentiate. Again, we differentiate x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c and c being a constant, we get back the same x power n that is differentiation of x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c that is equal to x power n. Hence, differentiate integral of x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c and c being the constant of integration. So, integral calculus was primarily invented to determine the area bounded by the curves dividing the entire area into infinite number of infinite small areas and taking the sum of all these small areas. Now, we can uh, take a topic uh, basic uh, formulas of integral calculus. Now, you can see one by one the formula that is integral of x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c whereas n is not equal to minus 1. Then second one is integral of dx that is we are going to integrate 1 into dx since integral of 1 dx is equal to integral of x square dx that is n power 1 by 1 that is x. Then third one if we are going to integrate e power x that is integral of e power x dx is equal to e power x plus c since differentiation of e power x is also e power x. Then fourth one the integral of e power a x dx that is equal to e power a x by a plus c since differentiation of e power a x by a is equal to e power a x and then uh, integral of d x by x that is equal to log x plus c since differentiation of log x is equal to 1 by x. The sixth one is integral of a power x dx equal to a power x divided by log a plus c, c being the constant. Then uh, we can take integral of c f of x dx is equal to c into f of x dx where c is a constant and integral of f of x dx plus or minus g of x is equal to integral of f of x dx then plus or minus integral of g of x dx. As we have seen some formula, uh, taking that formula we can see some examples of that uh, integral calculus. Now, you can see one first example integral of root x dx that we are going to find out the integration of uh, root x dx that is equal to x power of plus 1 divided by of plus 1. So, if we integrate we get x power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 that is equal to 
2 into x power 3 by 2 by 3 the constant plus c. Next one example we can take 1 by root of x dx that is 1 by root of x dx means we have to take the x value x power of. So, bringing that up that is numerator we are getting x power minus of that means integral of x power minus of dx that is x power minus of plus 1 divided by minus of plus 1 plus c that is equal to 2 times root x plus c. So, where c is the arbitrary constant. The same way we are taking the third example integral of e power minus 3 x dx that is equal to e power minus 3 x by minus 3 plus 1 that is minus 1 by 3 e power minus 3 x plus c. The fourth example we can take integral of 3 power x dx that is 3 power x divided by log x to the base a plus c. Then fifth example we can take integral of x into root x dx that is equal to integral of x power 3 by 2 dx that is x power 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 by 2 plus 1 that is equal to 2 by 5 x power 5 by 2 the constant plus c. The next example we can see evaluate the following integral you can see the problem integral of x plus 1 by x the whole square dx that is we are going to uh, first we are going to square up the value then we are going to integrate then integral of x square dx plus 2 times integral of dx plus integral of dx by x square that is x cube by 3 plus 2 x plus x power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 that is x cube by 3 plus 2 x minus 1 by x the constant being c. So, another one example uh, constituting all the plus or minus we are going to take the problem that is integral of root x into within bracket x cube plus 2 x minus 3 dx that is we are going to multiply the numbers by root x first that is integral of x power 7 by 2 dx plus 2 times x power 3 by 2 dx minus 3 times integral of x power of dx. So, if we integrate we get the values x power 7 by 2 plus 1 divided by 7 by 2 plus 1 plus 2 into x power 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 by 2 plus 1 then minus 3 times x power of plus 1 divided by of plus 1. So, totally we are getting the value 2 times x power 9 by 2 by 9 plus 4 times x power 5 by 2 by 5 minus 2 times x power 3 by 2 plus the constant being c. Now, let us see next problem integral of x square by x plus 1 dx that is we are going to integrate x square by x plus 1 that is x square minus 1 plus 1 that means we are adding and subtracting number 1 that is x square minus 1 plus 1 divided by x plus 1 dx. So, the value is coming up now x square minus 1 by x plus 1 dx plus integral of dx by x plus 1. For our convenience we are changing like this then integrating x minus 1 dx because x square minus 1 we are splitting off x plus 1 into x minus 1. So, we are cancelling x minus 1 x minus 1 then we are getting x minus 1 only. So, x minus 1 dx plus log x plus 1 that is x square by 2 minus x plus log x plus 1 plus c. You can see here another type of problem integral of x cube plus 5 x square minus 3 divided by x plus 2 dx. By simple division the integration becomes now integral of x cube plus 5 x square minus 3 by x plus 2 dx is now becoming integral of x square plus 3 x minus 6 plus 
9 divided by x plus 2 dx. So, after integrating we get the value x cube by 3 plus 3 x square by 2 minus 6 x plus 9 times log x plus 2 plus c.